Hi there, thanks for checking out my video. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing to my channel and giving it a like. It really helps me out and I really appreciate your support. Get ready for the knockout of a lifetime as we delve into the third part of the evolution of the Rocky Saga cast. From the raw talent of Tommy Gunn to the overconfident champion Mason Dixon, these actors have left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. But it wasn't just their in-ring performances that made an impact, the Rocky streak influenced their careers in countless ways. Join us as we take a journey through the decades, examining the evolution of these beloved actors and exploring the cultural significance of the Rocky films. Whether you're a die-hard fan or a newcomer to the series, this is one ride not to be missed. So lace up your boots and get ready to rumble as we review the changes and successes of the Rocky Saga cast. I couldn't not start this video talking about Sage Stallone. He was an American actor and the eldest child of Sylvester Stallone. At the age of 14, he joined the cast of Rocky V, playing Rocky Jr., Rocky's teenage son who was struggling to come to terms with his father's decision to retire from boxing due to brain damage sustained in the ring. His performance received mixed reviews from critics. Some reviewers praised Stallone's portrayal of the character, noting that he conveyed a sense of vulnerability and complexity that added depth to the film. Other critics felt that Stallone's acting was wooden and that his character was not well developed. Despite the mixed reception, Stallone's performance as Rocky Jr. was an important part of the film and helped to further develop the themes of family, legacy, and the impact of past choices on the present. Sage's portrayal of the character was praised by some viewers for its authenticity and emotional depth, and he was credited with bringing a new level of emotionality to the Rocky franchise. Before his death in 2012, Sage Stallone pursued a number of other interests and passions. He co-wrote, co-directed, and co-produced the film Daylight in 1996, and he also wrote and directed a short film called Vic. He was also an avid collector of movie memorabilia and owned a large collection of rare posters, lobby cards, and other film-related items. Unfortunately, Sage Stallone passed away at the young age of 36 in 2012. The cause of his death was later determined to be a heart attack, and his untimely passing was mourned by many in the entertainment industry and beyond. While his acting career may not have reached the heights of his father's, Sage's performance in Rocky V will always be remembered as a memorable part of the iconic film series. Tommy Morrison was a talented and charismatic actor and athlete who is best known for his role as Tommy Machine Gun in the popular film Rocky V. He was in his mid-twenties and worked hard to prepare for the role by training extensively in boxing and gaining muscle mass. Morrison's performance received mixed reviews from critics. Some felt that he was not as strong of an actor as the previous actors who had played Rocky's opponents, while others appreciated his dedication to the role and his genuine boxing skills. Aside from his acting career, Morrison was also known for his successful run as a professional boxer. He had a record of 48 wins, 3 losses, and 1 draw, with 42 of his wins coming by way of knockout. Morrison was known for his powerful punching ability and his aggressive fighting style, which made him a fan favorite among boxing enthusiasts. Unfortunately, Tommy Morrison's life was cut short when he passed away in 2013 at the age of 44. His cause of death was complications related to HIV-AIDS, a disease that he had been battling for several years. In the years leading up to his death, Morrison's physical appearance changed significantly due to his illness. He lost much of his hair and muscle mass, becoming almost unrecognizable. Richard Gant is an American actor who has appeared in numerous film, television, and stage productions over his career. In addition to his acting career, Gant is also a published author and has taught acting classes at universities in the United States. Gant is known for his dedication to his craft and is known to have prepared extensively for his role as Duke, which he played at age 45, in what is in my opinion his finest acting performance. He was praised for his performance in Rocky V, with many critics noting his strong on-screen presence and his ability to hold his own against the film star, Sylvester Stallone. Many critics also praised Duke's character, inspired by Mike Tyson's ex-manager Don King, citing him as a formidable and memorable villain. Today, 
Gant is in his late 70s and is still active in the entertainment industry. While he has not had his high-profile roles in recent years, he continues to work as an actor and has appeared in a number of television shows and films. In terms of physical appearance, Gant has changed little since his days as Duke in Rocky V. He's older now and his hair has turned gray, but he still maintains a strong build and is in good health. Milo Ventimiglia is an actor best known for his roles in the television series Gilmore Girls. In the 2006 film Rocky Balboa, Ventimiglia played the role of Rocky Balboa Jr., the son of the titular character. He played this role at 28 and his performance in the film was praised by audiences and critics, boosting his profile as an actor. Ventimiglia began his acting career in the late 1990s and has since become a popular and respected figure in the entertainment industry. He has received critical acclaim for his performances on television, and his role as Jack Pearson in This Is Us has earned him numerous award nominations. Today, at the age of 42, Ventimiglia continues to act in both television and film, bringing his signature talent and dedication to every project he takes on. He is known for his rugged good looks and fit physique and remains a popular and respected figure in the entertainment industry. Compared to 2006, he has a much more mature look and often changes his beard and haircut. Geraldine Hughes is a Northern Irish actress best known for her role as Marie in the movie Rocky Balboa from the Rocky series. She has also appeared in other film and television projects, but always as a secondary or marginal character. When Hughes was just 14, American TV producers auditioned hundreds of children in Ireland for their film, and of the hundreds, three were chosen to participate in the film, Hughes being one of them. Later, during her first years in Los Angeles, Hughes became a part-time nanny to Danny DeVito and Rhea Perlman's children. Hughes has been praised for her performance in the film, with some critics noting her naturalistic portrayal of Marie as a standout in the film. Since her appearance in Rocky Balboa, Hughes has continued to act in some film and television series. She is now in her mid-50s and has kept a low profile in recent years. It is unclear how her appearance has changed since 2006 as there are no recent photos or information about her personal life publicly available. However, she has stated in the past that she cares a lot about her health and fitness. She likes to eat healthily and make circuits of physical activity several times a week. Antonio Tarver is an actor and former professional boxer. He is best known for his role as heavyweight champion Mason the Lion Dixon in the Rocky Balboa film. Tarver was in his late 30s and he brought a level of authenticity to the role thanks to his background as a professional athlete. In preparation for the role, Tarver reportedly spent time working with Sylvester Stallone to get into character and train for the physically demanding role. He also worked with a dialect coach to perfect his character's accent. Some reviewers praised Tarver's acting skills and the chemistry he had with Sylvester Stallone and some critics felt that Tarver's character was underdeveloped and not given enough screen time. Now in his mid-50s, Tarver has not starred in any other films and stopped fighting in 2015. However, he has remained dedicated to his fitness, maintaining a fit and muscular physique. Made headlines in 2018 when he was arrested for domestic battery after punching his 18-year-old stepson in the face multiple times. Tarver has had a history with the law. He was arrested back in 2014, stemming from an unpaid gambling debt at the Wynn Hotel and Casino in Vegas. Currently, Tarver works as a boxing promoter and is looking for new talent. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to the channel.